So, Trump won. Went the direction that I was really, really hoping it wouldn't, and I was doing everything I could to fight the idea of it. But I knew once Sanders wasn't going to be the primary candidate, I knew Trump was going to win. I would tell people, you know, Hillary is not going to beat Trump. Hillary is not going to beat Trump. Oh, you're just being too pessimistic. Well, I didn't want Hillary to begin with. A lot of people didn't want Hillary. A lot of people wanted Bernie Sanders. But then there's the others, well, you know, uh, uh, Hillary knows how to uh, compromise more. Yeah, because, uh, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't really stand up for her principles. Uh, you don't even know what her principles really are. We just know that she agrees with whatever polls were going on at the time. So now we're going to have Trump. And we're going to lose, uh, millions of people are going to lose their health care. Great, great stuff. And if he goes through with the way that he wants a lot of other stuff handled, uh, the poor are going to, uh, are going to struggle a lot. The poor are going to be in misery. Old people are going to be in misery. Um, veterans are going to be in misery. So we can put up this strange, fake patriotism in some sort of worshipping of a period of the past. What this means for those of us that are actually on the left is that we have to fight harder than ever. We have to rebel against what has just occurred. We cannot be lazy anymore. And we certainly can't be these SJW types complaining about shit that doesn't really matter. We need to focus on the things that actually matter. We need to focus on those who are actually the enemy to freedoms, the enemy to minorities, the enemy to gay people, the enemy to women. We need to actually focus on that stuff instead of blaming people who are really trying to do good things. Because there's plenty of people out there who, are who have been trying to do good things, but it's never good enough for some of these that people call SJWs. It's never good enough. Well, now they're going to have to focus on, on real stuff. Because any of these people tr still focusing on all of the uh, uh, identity politics stuff, yeah, you're, you're, you're going to, to be laughed at. You're going to be ridiculed. Because you're focusing on shit that isn't actually important. We need to focus to make sure that we continue to keep our rights. That they're not washed away by religious, Christian religious zealotry. We need to speak against the forces that want to take us back to the 1950s. We need to be vigilant. We need to be strong. And if it gets bad enough, we may have to do things that are kind of unsavory. Because we cannot let this country lapse into the romanticization, I didn't say that right, romanticization, whatever, how you ever pronounce it, of decades of the past. We cannot let this country slip into some sort of uh, ideas of creating some sort of utopia that never existed in the first place. We need to be strong. Trump's election may be what we needed to kickstart us into that 
creative mode again, because we have been in a creative recession f since since 9-11. Since a few years before then, when it started, but, you know, especially since 9-11. Our sense of rebellion is what, we, uh, what we've needed back. And maybe having such a terrible president as Trump can give that back to us. Who knows? And if some of you really want this social war, a new social war, well, you'll get it. Believe me, you'll, you'll get it. And you'll be pining for the days when left-wingers we're complaining about things that don't matter.